Right folks, so tents up, sun's in the way, yep, tents up, uh, I'm not too far away from Mount Oracle, nice wee lake, it's quite handy because I can back the car right in, right down, so there's not much room down here for too many tents, and the ground's very boggy, so I'd imagine I'll have this place to myself for tonight, and a good wee view of Mount Oracle up there. Probably can't see out in the camera, but I can see it through the trees. Uh, yeah, it looks even bigger from here than it does at the roadside. <laughs> right, guys, so I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen what I've got in the bag, but just to quickly show Power Bank, Camping Light, very good Camping Light. Spur clothes, just a down jacket, spur socks, thermal top, little down shoes. These are great, they're like slippers, they have a hard sole in case you need to get out of the tent, really warm. And I've also got a bivvy bag, which I'll not put up just yet, I'd like to get away without using it tonight. Food, I have a lot more food in the car. This is just like toothbrushes, toothpaste, painkillers, plasters, wipes, stuff like that, toiletries, blow up mattress, track logic, ultra light sleeping mat. A little electric pump for pumping it up. Saves me having to use the bag, but the bag's really handy. Takes like six bags, you squeeze the urine. And maple fire, or fire maple, sorry, jet boiler. Can't do without that. Gas. Deluxe pillow. I was planning on bringing a pillow from home as I'm so close to the car, but I forgot, which is a shame, but that's a great pillow. And sleeping bag, real light, nice and warm, water resistant. And there's the wind picking up. So yeah, I have a few other wee GoPro mounts and lights and bits and bobs and then I have a lot of stuff in the car but yep yeah, I'll probably do another video a better video on what I have and how to put it up uh, a video just for that actually because it can be a bit time consuming but yeah so far that's what I have tonight and also I got this foam mat goes away out and it's pretty good for sitting on and also gives more grip for underneath the tent so the mattress isn't sliding it's quite comfortable really late all right guys so jet boiler's on heating up water and i'm going to make this macaroni and cheese by summit to it uh, i've already had this before not macaroni and cheese uh, different stuff and i thought it was lovely and i love macaroni and cheese so I'm really hoping this is going to be a hit, but yep, definitely something that's needed, high calories, uh, just after doing Mount Oracle, so yeah, I'm starving, I want to get the calories in. Looks to be more cheese than pasta, but we'll see how it swells up. So, oh, I think I might have put too much water in this one. But, I'll close it up, let it sit. I 
and give it about five to ten minutes maybe the water's really hot so yeah okay guys okay, so this is my view in the morning well my view now so that's what i'm going to be looking at when i open the tent in the morning there's inside the tent and look on out and i'll just take you around here so you can see the view of mount oracle it's very boggy in here so i think i found this place a couple of years back when i was out on the motorbike but i never camped at that time i was just exploring and i found it well i came back to it even i think it was last year or the year before and camped uh, that time of year was summer and the midgets just at me alive so yeah right up there mount oracle so it probably doesn't look that big on the camera but uh it's it's a monster from here it's very intimidating but the new path they built the whole way up rocks the whole way has made it easier to walk definitely a lot safer as it was wasn't safe uh, they're trying to save the boggy ground so yeah fair play to them for doing that uh, i just wish i could do that around the morn mountains but uh, there is a bit I suppose in the morns but yeah they've done a really really good job so fair play to them guys who've done that uh, they've just made it a lot easier and better for people so yeah Mount Urkel completed yeah okay, guys so this is absolutely delicious so the wind's finally gone I finally got the drone up it's circling around me now so fingers crossed that the wind stays away until I get it back round again uh, it was too windy to put it up in Oracle. Not too bad right now, but yeah, I don't want to mess around too much here with it either at this lake. Because if I lose it down here anywhere, I'm not getting it back. So yeah, I'll take it slow with the drone and I'm still learning, so I'll take it real slow and yeah, hopefully all goes well. But definitely recommend this. Summer to eat. Guys, cup of tea time. So I just got talking to a man and lady had come past from Lather County and they've told me there's a couple of waterfalls up here, I can actually see one. And there's another one away on up here. It looks like they've come hiking down, so must be a hiking area around here as well. So might check it out tomorrow. Uh, I'll see what the weather's like. I got the drone up, circled it around, I didn't quite get the shots that I wanted, but uh kept getting wind weather warnings it is because the wind is picking up now so I don't want, I really do not want to lose it over here lose it away out there I'm not getting it back and I'm still new learning so I'm, I'm not confident with it at all but I did get a couple of good shots hopefully hopefully they turn out well uh, I'll get the batteries charged up again battery life doesn't last long on drones so I've went through two batteries uh, I'll try and get them charged up and hopefully tomorrow's a good day. I might get it up again or maybe even move on and do somewhere else tomorrow. But we'll see. Don't think I've ever camped in a more quiet or relaxing place ever. Which is great. When I go camping I like to be away from people. Kind of own wee hideout, and then the sound of the waterfall and the water here beside me sounds good. Just sit and chill out. 
like a lone wolf. Right guys, so the wee little fire's going now. It's not really burning too much. Not really sure if it's how it's meant to burn or what way it works, but But from the start anyway, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'll leave it going for a bit and see how it works out. So far, so good. Okay, so the wee fire's going really well. I'll definitely buy more of these. Again, you have to be camping quite close to the car or not unless you really want to carry one of these with the rest of your camping gear, but if you're on a long hike. But yeah, it's burning pretty good and it's probably better than a, a makeshift fire. So now I'm just having a cup of tea and a bar. Uh, sit here and chill out for a bit, and uh, then I'll have an early night, I think, so, I hope. But, uh, yeah, good night, and I'll see you in the morning, guys. Morning, guys. I'm um, just up. It's about half seven. I uh, woke a few times during the night, but... Nothing much, still had a good sleep, it was really warm, plenty of hand warmers and feet warmers and yeah, the wee fire done a real good job. <coughs> Actually ended up pouring water over it and just putting it out as I was going to sleep but still burning away. But I've packed a few things up inside, uh, I'm going to tidy up a bit more, have a bit of breakfast, cup of tea, yeah. Hit the road. Okay, guys, so breakfast is on. So I've got the jet boiler on there with water for tea. Uh, I've got my other little cooker on there with sausages, little pan going. I have a few bops, so I'll have sausage bops. I forgot to bring eggs. I was looking sausages and egg bop, but yeah, I'm not worried about it. Nearly done. Give them a few minutes to get these into my, my cup of tea. I'm starving. I definitely picked a good day yesterday for Mount Argyll. It's a lot windier today and overcast, so yeah. For the view anyway, yesterday was the best day. Best camping breakfast ever. Sausage buddies. Hard to beat. Right guys, that's me packed up, breakfast and all in my. Again, you wouldn't even know it was here. Everything tidied up, leave no trace. Especially when you're coming away, away somewhere where it's not your home. And you want to get back there again. It's a brilliant wee spot here, so I do want to come back again. Maybe in the summer. Even though the midgets here in the summer is really bad, but... Yeah, I'll try and get back. But, yep, everything tidied up. I'm ready to go. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please give it a like if you have. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>